I'm Elliot Geiger. I'm a composer. I also teach composition at the University of Melbourne. Every young composer, I think, stresses about finding their voice. And the best advice I've ever heard about this is basically that the less you worry about it, uh, the more naturally it will happen. It's a bit like that saying, uh, life is what happens while you're making other plans. Uh, style sort of emerges. Uh, essentially, I think what it's about is you take in your influences, you listen to the music that's around you, the music that you love, the music that you hate, and you respond to those in various ways. Uh, if you're a composer like me, you take uh, some, you, you make pre-compositional plans and strategies that might be more or less uh, sort of systematic. Uh, but ultimately, in the, at the end of the day, what determines your style is your ears, uh, because everything that the system or absence of system throws up has to pass the ultimate censorship test, which is these guys. Uh, and ultimately, it comes down to, you know, what do, what do I find acceptable in a piece of mine? And that's changing. Uh, I hope it will always be changing, but it doesn't change suddenly. It gradually evolves. I think that there are two things that I respond to very directly as a composer. One, fortunately for uh, someone who has written a lot of open music, is text. Um, I love literature. I love poetry, but also novels, uh, uh, plays. I've written a lot of instrumental and vocal pieces inspired by text. Um, in terms of other inspirations, I don't tend to be a visual person very much, uh, but I am. I do get very inspired directly by sound. Uh, sometimes that's uh, music by other composers. Uh, often it's the sonic possibilities of instruments and voices and combinations of instruments and voices. I'm a big believer in the in, in orchestration as something that applies not just to the, what you do when you're writing for orchestra, but what you do when you're writing for any ensemble, no matter how small, even down to a solo. Uh, but when I'm writing, for example, for a chamber ensemble or voice with piano or a couple of voices uh, with, with a few instruments, the combinations and the ways that they can blend together, uh, those next, ne I would say, I don't know what the plural of nexus is, nexus is. Those, those points of intersection are really uh, sort of compelling and exciting. So the compositional process is a multi-stage uh, thing for me. Ideally, if I've got time, it starts out with a long period of thinking about the piece in the background, having an idea, letting it mature, um, while usually while I'm working on the previous piece or maybe in the case of larger pieces or pieces with a longer lead time the previous several pieces it's going on in the background and uh, that's I think partly a subconscious process when it becomes conscious it might be that when I manage to go out for a walk or I get some time to think because I'm sitting on the tram or uh, uh, under the shower or whatever, any time that I've got sort of downtime where, where my brain can work. It's just sort of trying to imagine for myself what the piece is, uh, what its guiding questions might be, what its guiding metaphor might be. In the case of writing vocal works, that's usually easier because the text provides the first stage of that. Uh, in the case of pieces that don't involve text, uh, I have to dream up an idea out of, for example, what instruments uh, the piece is scored for. Uh, with a vocal piece, that comes into play as well, uh, but it's sort of at the next stage. Having gone through that process of maturation, when I start working on a piece in earnest, then uh, it's often a matter of juggling musical materials, uh, shaping some constraints that I can work within. Um, for me, those most often have to do with choices of pitch. Uh, sometimes they have to do with ways that time and structure are organised as well. Uh, uh, and a lot of the time it's about establishing a global vocabulary for a piece. And the way that the piece is composed is then an improvisational dance within those general parameters.